Hello again, Bright Point Kids. I'm Robin, and we are going to look at creation in our world today. Maybe you um, have celebrated Earth Day in the past. It's April 22nd, and learned how you can help take care of the Earth that God has given you. So we are going to start by looking at the Bible, Genesis 1 and 2, tells about the creation of the Earth and how God made the earth come into existence. So we're going to look at it through this book, Wonderful Earth. First of all, there was nothing but darkness. Nothing, zero. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Then suddenly there were stars and planets and galaxies and comets and meteors and great clouds of gas all whizzing about and going bang. It was like an enormous firework display. And God said, that's very good. Can you find the earth in this picture of the whole universe and galaxy? Yep, there it is. Out of all the millions and billions and zillions of planets, God picked out one to be special. Why this one? I don't know. It wasn't even big. It was the earth. God made the earth spin, which made the day and night. And he made the moon go round the earth, which made the months. And he made the earth go around the sun, which made years. Then with his finger, he gently nudged the North Pole a little to one side which made the summer turn to winter and back again. It was all very complicated, like making a giant clock, but it all worked perfectly. I'm gonna turn out my light so maybe we don't have as much glare. Hopefully that will be a little bit better. On the earth, God made dry land and water. The land had mountains and canyons and deserts and huge exploding volcanoes. The water was even better. God made rain and rivers and mist and waterfalls and hailstones and snow and icicles and icebergs and great oceans with enormous crashing waves just out of water. There were, oops, excuse me. Then came the plants, little twiddly ones at first, too small to see. The plants grew and grew and grew until great forests spread right around the earth and the whole world turned green. It was beautiful. So God made the plants. He made the light, he made the land, he made the waters, and he made the plants. There were all kinds of plants. Some had leaves like giant hands. Some had long spiky ones. Some had small feathery ones and some had no leaves at all. Some could grow in just one day and some lived a thousand years. Some had lovely flowers and some had fruit. Some had seeds as big as your head 
and some had seeds like dust. Some had seeds that whirled like helicopters. Maybe you've seen those kind of seeds off of maple trees. Looks like helicopter wings. And they twirl down. And they grew into big trees. But now the fun really started. God made animals. Now what, look at this. This is fun. Ooh. See that again? So now God's creating animals. He made some black and white, some brightly colored, some with lots of hair, some with lots of teeth, like alligators, some that are high jumpers, like a kangaroo, some who live in big groups, like fish, and some who live all by themselves, like a hermit crab, and some low jumpers, like a grasshopper. Page first. Yeah, I have a hard time getting. There we go. Some with stripes, some very big, like an elephant, and some tiny. Some with long necks. I bet you can think of an animal with a long neck. That's right, a giraffe. Some with spots, like little ladybugs. Some who are good at fishing. Some with horns made of hair. Some that hiss. And some that roar. Look what our page does here. It kind of mixes everything up a little bit. Isn't that funny? Look at the alligator now. And look at the giraffe now. They get all mixed up. Some were fat and gray, like a hippopotamus. Some were tall and pink, like a flamingo. Some with rings on their tails raccoon, and some with stings on their tails, like a scorpion, some fast, like a cheetah, and some slow, like a snail, some with tentacles, and some with tusks, some with blue feathers, and some with blue bottoms, some who did, who like it old, and some who like it hot, some birds that can't fly, and some fish who can. And if you turn each half of the page, you can make some that God didn't think of, like the ostrach and the crocopus. Ostrach and the crocopus. But now we'll look at the ones God did make. God made hummingbirds as small as bees and whales as big as buses, chameleons that can change to any color, sloths that grow moss on their backs, parrots that can talk, and swifts that sleep while they are flying, moss that look like leaves and insects that look like sticks, skunks that smell disgusting, except to other skunks, squirrels that fly, bees that dance, Worms that eat mud and goats that eat anything. Dolphins that smile, crocodiles that grin, and hyenas that laugh. Butterfly fish and parrotfish and lionfish and batfish and catfish and dogfish and hogfish. Hairy caterpillars and bald eagles. Beavers that build dams and moles that dig tunnels. Kangaroos that carry their babies in pouches and pelicans with beaks like shopping bags, sharks with teeth like razors, 
beetles with antlers, gorillas as strong as 10 men, jumping fleas and jumping spiders, toads that blow themselves up like balloons, electric eels and beetles that glow in the dark, bears that sleep all winter long, termites that make tall houses tough as concrete, salmon that can swim up waterfalls, lizards like dragons, elephants with noses like hoses, and squids that squirt ink. He made animals that sing and squawk and spout and hiss and hoot and howl and honk and chirp and peck and pounce and flap and fly and slide and slither and squirm and creep and crawl and prowl and growl and gallop and glide and dive and swoop and jump and hang and warble and squeak and roar. And he made the duckbill platypus too. He made a lot of animals that you've probably never even heard of some of them. The dugong, the common naughty, the slow loris, the football fish, the wrestling half beak, the weedy sea dragon, the pink fairy armadillo, the rubber boa, the banana quit, the lousy watchman, the bush squeaker, and last but not least, he made something really wonderful. Do you know what it was? It was you. When you look in a mirror, you see yourself and God made you. He made man. The first man he made was Adam. And then he gave Adam a wife, Eve. And me, of course, and everybody else. He made people. We're his masterpiece, his best effort. In some ways, we're a bit like God. We can think and talk and make things. We're really very clever. We were made in God's image. We're so clever, we've even walked on the moon. Now God made all this and he charged man, that's us, with taking care of the earth. And sometimes we don't do such a good job. We throw trash down and we make a lot of smoke in the skies and maybe we put stuff in in our water like our oceans that we shouldn't and so forth and so we have to learn to take good care of our earth our earth is going to be very sad if we don't but if we take care of our earth what happens Oh, let me get a hold of it here. Our earth turns happy. There we go, a happy earth. And that's what we want. God wants us to take care of what he's given us. And I would like to teach you a um, finger play to do that kind of reminds me of creation. So it goes, God pushed up the mountains, he rolled out the sea, he painted the sky, and then he made me. Want to try that again? So God pushed up the mountains, he rolled out the sea, he painted the sky, and then he made me. We'll try it one more time. God pushed up the mountains, he rolled out the sea, he painted the sky, and then he made me. Very good. You've been a good listener today. So we're going to end with a prayer from our little prayer book. Dear Lord, be with me through this day in all I do and all I say. Hold me in your loving arms and keep me safe from any harm. Amen. 
All right, I'll see you next time.